Uh, good morning, everyone. This is Scott, or the Scott Man, and we're here to do a little driving tour today. We are down along the Texas coast right now. We are in Rockport and Fulton. I used to come down to this area a lot, especially in the last decade when my aunt and uncle, who live out in Colorado now, they used to live down here. They already have a red light. <laughs> Or, never mind. But yeah, I haven't been down in this area in like nine years. So I definitely want to get back down here. Unfortunately, last year, late August, so about six months ago, Hurricane Harvey came through, came crashing shore into, or short into Texas, and Rockport ended up getting a direct hit from the hurricane. Rockport and Fulton are kind of like twin communities, with Rockport being a, a little bit larger. But yeah, there's been a lot of development, but yeah, as you can tell, a lot of the hotels are so closed up. Uh, that La Quinta's still open, or it's currently open. It probably was pro probably closed for a while. We'll be back on here in a little while, but we're gonna drive around Fulton a little bit. Oh, yeah, and over to the left, there's this small movie theater. I remember, my uncle and I used to go there a lot to go see different movies, and yeah, unfortunately, they're still not open yet, or if at all. It's hard to say if it'll get back to being open or not. So yeah, this will take us over by the water a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'll turn the left and we'll go by the, the Fulton Mansion. It's a very historic mansion, which is in the area. It's kind of overcast today. There's a cold front came through yesterday because I was up in been up in Houston since Thursday night, and it, we had a lot of rain up there yesterday. Night. I think it rained down here too. Yep, and there's there's the water. It's not the Gulf of Mexico itself because there there are a bunch of barrier islands that are in between the water over here and the Gulf of Mexico itself. That's a little choppy out there, though, as you can tell. Yep, and there's the Fulton Mansion. Uh, I'm going to see if I can try to pull off. So this video will continue, but in my vlog, I'm going to be showing it a little bit. Sorry for the somewhat awkward pause, but yeah, I want to stop over at the Fulton Mansion. Although... It's not open for tours right now because, yeah, it's still undergoing some repairs, but it, the grounds are at least are free to check out, so I wanted to do that off camera. That, that'll be in my, in my main vlog for the day, outside of this driving tour. Yep, this is Fulton. Definitely tell a lot of a lot of damage from the hurricane down here. Like many businesses have definitely have not reopened, but others others have though. And I, I remember eating at, at at Charlotte Plumbers before. to see 
see that they're still open. For what I remember, they had pretty good seafood in there. So we'll go ahead and we'll make a left turn. Oh, it looks like a little carnival here. So now we're getting out of Fulton, and for the rest of the video, we're going to be in Rockport. But yeah, when I used to stay with my aunt and uncle down here, we didn't really come up to Fulton a whole lot. We were primarily just down in Rockport. I think the movie theater is far, was as far north as we we went, on average, unless we were heading north out of Rockport or something. But yeah, it feels like it was just yesterday I was down here. the Walmart is. Oh, well, not here, but just a little bit further up. But yeah, along in here, this is like the big shopping area. Oh, yeah, yeah there's the Walmart over to the right. shopping in here some restaurants too like there's even like a, a water burger up ahead another travel bike but yeah I'll be saying this a lot but it's good that a lot of businesses are coming coming back but yeah others are still closed Whataburger, that's definitely open right now. Uh, the, 
uh, Dairy Queen's open. Say hello, I'm a little disappointed that that's cloudy right now, but on, on the on a positive note, there won't be any glare from the sun. And up in here is HEB, the main grocery store here in Rockport. They have quite a bit of business in there right now. And continuing straight, that'll go into downtown Rockport. We'll do that in a little bit. I'm gonna drive over to uh, Key Allegro for a little bit. Oh yeah, that Walgreens over there is still open. I remember going to that Walgreens on occasion when I was visiting my aunt and uncle down here. So I'm glad to see that's back open again. Yeah, but over on the other side of the water there, water there, that is Key Allegro. We'll drive in there a little bit. I'm not gonna check out everything there. Man, we'll, we'll drive around a little bit. But yeah, it's like with the hurricane, but yeah, it was a huge devastation to all of Southeast Texas in general. Where Rockport, Fulton, Tivoli, even up to uh, Port Lavaca, they would have received, a, they got, they definitely got a little bit of storm surge and flooding too, but they got a lot of the wind damage. Where Houston primarily was the significant flooding. To where they, when it came to like the media coverage, I feel like they did not show much of Rockport at all, except for maybe when it made landfall because it was the hype was all about the floods in Houston. And then I feel like coverage on Harvey went away too once Hurricane Irma was going up Florida and everything was concentrated on Florida. Uh, that, that's at least for for what I've noticed watching like either watching or reading the news online or even like the like the weather channel yeah it just feels so weird to be back here and yeah those apartments, yeah, a lot of damage still. They're rebuilding though, which is a good thing. Uh, uh, that convenience store is closed. So we'll go to the right. If we were to go back to the left over there, that would take us eventually back to where where we were earlier, where the where the Fulton Mansion is. But yeah, this is now Key Allegro. There are a lot of beautiful homes in here. And yeah, as you can tell, a lot of damage from the hurricane. Still in the process of rebuilding different things. Send me back back down to Rockport after being away from here for like nine years would be to see an aftermath of a major hurricane. It's kind of sad. Well, actually, it is sad. But again, thankfully though, I'm glad that they are re building it's slowly but it's like when it comes with the this is the great thing about Texas is that the, is that 
the people in Texas, they're like one huge family. They, when it comes to disasters, they, they come together and they rebuild. Because yet, yeah, Key Allegro, it's this is essentially a, a dead end. It's a it's a peninsula. see my cell phone yeah, I'm being really careful careful right now but just trying to take some pictures at the same time oh don't want to get my phone in the view though <laughs> but yeah right now uh, yeah I'm pretty good right now nobody's behind me A good thing that is a good thing but I'm curious to see what it looks like too so we'll be going generally by that going going to the Rockport Beach but we won't be seeing the house itself until later in the video and then yeah I'm pretty aware that this video is gonna be a little bit lengthy but I definitely want to cover a lot Oops, sorry about that there I forgot to start the recording back up at first, but didn't really miss anything. Yeah, here's a better view of those apartments. Yeah, they got hit really hard. In fact, after this driving tour is over, especially in downtown Rockport, I'll probably take a lot of pictures and maybe get out of the car, but I'm gonna wait and do that until after the driving tour is done. After the hurricane came through, yeah, there are a lot of videos of people posting different things, whether it was like from the car or or from like a drone, like up in the air. But there was it looked a lot worse than than what it does now. It's like there's still a lot of devastation, but thankfully a lot of the pieces have been picked up. turn off of Business 35 over by HEB. And 
that we got to turn here because I believe this eventually turns to a one-way a one-way road or by McDonald's This is near where my aunt and uncle used to live, because yeah, it's right by where the where the Valero is. Well, off to the right a little bit. But the, the Valero is definitely open. Oh, oh yeah, that motel yeah took a huge hit. Their house would have been just back that way, but we'll be coming back, so no worries. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn left here. We're gonna head over to the to the water. And the coast is not clear. Okay, you had a little bit of a wait there. Like yeah, there's like a, you know, there's a long beach here, and, and for what I hear from my aunt, who still keeps an eye on what's going on in Rockport, the beach is the beach just opened earlier this month. But I'm not gonna go down to the beach area itself. But I am gonna go over here. So this is gonna be in my main vlog video. So this so this part up here won't be in the driving tour. All right, coming out of the beach now, and yeah, I can't cross right there, so I just have to turn around up here. There we got a little bit of weight. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of a loop around downtown Rockport. We're going to stay on Business 35 for a little bit, then we'll turn down Market Street. But yeah, the main downtown just be back down to the left. Oh, they tore down what used to be the an original H-E-B, which but was closed for a very long time. But yeah, it looks like they finally tore it down. Mexican restaurant uh, called Los Camales, which was a restaurant we went to all the time when, when I came down to visit. And it should be off to the right. Yep, there it is. And looks like it. Yep, it's. And I think for I heard it, it is open now. Oh, well, not right now because it hasn't opened for business yet today, but it made it through the storm. 
Uh, that gas station didn't though. It's still closed. Yeah, they still have temporary traffic lights up. Okay, so now we're heading back in the in the downtown. Rosita's is still there, so that's good. I remember eating there one time. City Hall and still looks like they have some boards on the door, but looks like I think it is open though. I, I at least I believe it is. I'll probably come back after this driving tour is done to get out, get out and walk around just for a little bit. Up here is downtown Rockport. So I guess some, some businesses are, are open, so that's good. that Treasure Islander store to buy like souvenirs before and I'm really glad to see that they're that they're open still. But yeah despite still still a lot of cleanup Rockport is definitely back open for business, so, so if you're planning on vacationing down in South Texas, uh, definitely have to stop in Rockport still because there are things open. Am I reading at Latitude 2802? I think, I think they're back open, but if not, they might be really soon because it looks like they made it through. Oh, I don't think I wanted to go this far. Oh, yeah, I did. This will work. Because now there's tickets back to... Back to the end of the Heritage District. And then I won't be going by it, but to the left, there's a nice little restaurant called the Apple Dumpling Deli Inn. Fortunately, yeah, when I look over there, that definitely made it through the storm, so that's really good. Cause it, they're, it's a really, really nice deli. But I've, I've eaten there a few times. Yeah, this looks awful over here. Okay, this is over here by the sheriff's office. Church. Uh, this is the Catholic Church my aunt and uncle went to all the time. And it looks like it made it through. I'll get it, I'll get a good view from over here. So I think this is also parking for it. And then I'm just gonna turn right onto Church Street to continue the driving tour. Alright, just continuing down, but yeah. Yeah, the Catholic Church looks great. So yeah, any damage it would have taken from the storm, yeah, definitely looks really nice. But yeah, yeah, that took a huge hit. Probably easier if I turn turn over here. Up, 
next up coming up next in the driving tour we're gonna go by the house my aunt and uncle lived in when they were in Rockport this would have been before they moved up to Colorado where they live now Easily, more easily get off, get there from from this highway, but we'll go, we'll take the back way. Okay, and then over here we're getting into more of the residential neighborhoods. And we'll turn down here. But yeah, when I start to drive by the house, I'll be really slowing down a little bit. But as you can tell, yeah, they're hard at work to get many buildings restored. I'm going to go down. I'm going to zigzag a little bit. I think this is Austin Street here. Yep, we'll go down this way to one more street. But yeah, I can see a lot of tarps on the on the on the roofs here. Or street would be to to Sabinal. That's where the house sits. And yeah, I'll definitely be getting my cell phone out too. Yep, here it is. Well, not that. <laughs> For this little portion, yeah, I'm going a little unorthodox. I'm going to be holding this with my hand and I have to wait for this truck to come by. Because yeah, I'm gonna be stopping periodically. I'm gonna go a little bit slowly here. But yep, there's the house. Yep, the, there's the barn. That was where my aunt used to keep her horse in there. Yep, oh yeah, yeah the little gazebo at the park is gone too. And yep, there's the house. Yep. Looks like a different front door, possibly. All right, well, keep going a little bit. I don't want to go too slow because I, if somebody's home right now, I don't want them to think I'm up to no good or something. Yep. So yeah, right now we're just turned on Patton Street. Oh, the fence is gone over here. That looks like it's boarded up a little bit. Yep, there, yep, the swimming pool's still there. But yeah, it's really cool, really awesome that, that, that the house, oh, my windows are open. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, I was taking a lot of pictures off camera because I know my, my aunt wanted to see pictures of the house. still looks good though and, and even the the little garage that was off Patton Street which is what we're on now which which on the up, upper level that was where my uncle used to work out of 
Glad to see that's standing too. Kip, so yeah, now we're gonna continue down this way and raises a little bit. Uh, that works. And we'll go through one more subdivision that's up a little ways. It'll probably take us about a few minutes to get over there. about the subdivision we're going to be going into in a little bit is there's a country club that's there and when they were living down here they were a part of it remember we used to get like some nice dinners in there and then there's also a workout center where my uncle and I used to work out at a little bit yards here and yeah this other subdivision yeah there are some nice homes in here yeah a lot more in the way of brick homes so yeah a lot of these homes look like they made it pretty well at least for what I'm seeing so far uh, through the hurricane right here this would be for the golf carts when I used to work for my uncle for kind of, kind of like a little bit of a summer job when I came down here for like a week or two in the summer. It's like we used to go to this country club, club all the time to work out at. we got to be careful here. It's a little, somewhat of a one-lane road. And 
I remember it's like after working for a little bit, we take a break and we drive over to the to the exercise center or the fitness center over in here, and then a lot of times go get lunch and then head back to work. are very interesting it's amazing to see how many buildings can get damaged or even destroyed completely through them while others remain standing it's like yeah these homes as I was saying earlier these are more well built so they, they definitely made it through the hurricane a lot better although there could still have been like roof damage or damaged windows different things like that But yeah, despite a lot of damage still around, it's great to see Rockport is getting back on its feet and it'll be a, might be another tourist hotspot once again, if not, if not already, but. Of course, then again, it's like I haven't been back in like nine years, so, it, so I'm not sure what, other than Hurricane Harvey, what's been going on here to have a lot of people still come down here or not or yeah, it's a nice little community though I've, I've always enjoyed coming down here but when it comes to my aunt and uncle uh, they're really happy where they are in up in the Winter Park Colorado area I've been going there several times to, to see them they have a nice house over there and in fact I'd like to try to get back out there sometime this summer to see them as well as my cousin Lauren. Yep, and there's the country club to our left. Looks like yeah, it looks like the country club had some roof damage. Oh, it's closed. How about that? So we're gonna go out that way to the right, but I wanna do a little quick turnaround first. Because yeah, this is the this is the pool and fitness center over here. In fact, to get a better view, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn it over here. Not a one lane road, so. Oh, or one way road. Oh, it looks like it's closed right now. Yeah, it looks like yeah, the country club's not completely closed. Well, the that part is, but it's still open for people to, to go golfing, which is good. Probably be a little bit of time before the main country club reopens. But yeah, this road will take us back out to Business 35, where that movie theater used to be. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this driving tour of Rockport, Texas, and a little bit of Fulton, Texas as well. But yeah, I just never thought I'd be coming back here after a major hurricane. But yeah, although it's only for a short visit because I'm going down to Corpus Christi next, it's definitely, definitely great to, to come back.